like to welcome everyone to the broadcast. Uh, we have uh, been doing a Bible study here for quite a while now, and uh, Brother Thurston's always been kind enough to take uh, the responsibility on the studying, and uh, he's really done a good job. I, we was talking for one on the air about how busy everybody is, and Brother Thurston is um, just as busy as I am, uh, probably too busy. And uh, I appreciate you taking the time to do this. I know it takes a lot of time. Well, I appreciate it. I've well, it's good for all of us. So it's good so. for all of us. Well, why don't you get us into the study for today? Okay. Um, so we're going to, uh, I'd like this week, next week, we've been, what, about four or five weeks talking about Jesus, our high priest. That's right. So either, probably next week, let's finish this up. Okay. But, uh, We'll move on. But we're going to talk today about the sacrifices that we are to make. The the sacrifices we are to make to God. The sacrifices right. He requires of us. Right, right. And uh, this it's going to make all of us stop and think. Right. But, you know, the priest... The people would take sacrifices to them, mm -hmm. and they would offer those sacrifices. You know, like they'd take a lamb. Mm -hmm. we, you know, we, you've read about Abraham's altars, yes, yeah, sacrifice, mm -hmm. Solomon, and all mm -hmm. of this. But, but Jesus is our high priest, and he requires sacrifices of us. So uh, we don't have to take a lamb to church. You know, or a bull. <laughs> Might get crowded in church if we was doing that, wouldn't it? <laughs> we don't have to do that. But let's look at First Peter. First Peter chapter two, verse five. Now here's what he says. Well, well real, let's look at verse four. To whom come and indeed as a living stone, disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of God and precious. No. I know that. Let's read the next one. You also, as living stones, are built up a spiritual house. So God is taught, calls it, remember he called Peter a stone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, he said, your rock, on this rock I'll build my church. Yeah. And he says, you are lively stones. And the notes in my Bible said living stones. Mm-hmm. As he called Peter a stone, he calls us a stone. Or built up a spiritual house. So God is saying we are making up a house. Mm -hmm. Here's what he says. A holy priesthood. Well, in that verse, God is calling us priests. Mm -hmm. Remember in Revelations, he says, For you've been made kings and priests unto God. Why does God call us priests? What does a priest do? A priest is someone that intercedes to God for the people. Mm -hmm. As you pray for people, mm -hmm. and I pray for people, that's why he says we're, we're a royal priesthood. Right. Because we are to pray for people and to intercede to God for one another. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now listen to what it says. To offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. It says we're to offer up spiritual sacrifices. So as in the Old Testament, Moses gave them the law, which we're not under the law, but mm -hmm. Moses gave them the law and God told them, what animals to bring and to sacrifice. Well, God tells us what he wants us to sacrifice to him. Because mm -hmm. <clears throat> this verse right here says, you're living stones, you're building a spiritual house, you're a holy priesthood. This mm -hmm. is to the church now. Yeah. He says to offer up spiritual sacrifices. So the sacrifices that we're to offer God is a spiritual sacrifice. Spiritual. 
That's what so he's what are, what are some of okay, those? Okay, let's look at this. See, now I tell you, this is going to be good. <laughs> let's look at what we're to offer God. It's Hebrews chapter 13. And uh, Hebrews chapter 13, verse 15. Now, let's, well, we'll look at uh, 14 too. It says, for here we have no continuing city, but we seek one to come. And it's amazing. God says, here we have no continuing city. What's, he, what's continuing? Well, thing? this earth is going to be done away with. Right. So it has an end. It has an end. That's saying a city that doesn't end. That doesn't end. Yeah. You know. All the great cities of this earth, the Bible said the earth shall be uh, tried by fire. Mm -hmm. It's going to be purified. In other right. words. God's going to purify mm -hmm. sin. He's going to purify this earth. And, you know, he says, I saw a new heaven. John said, I saw a new heaven and a new earth. Is that not what he's saying? Mm -hmm. Well, he's talking about this earth, is, it's got a lot of sin in it. Right. And it's going to be purified by fire. Okay. So there is a new heaven and a new earth coming. Mm -hmm. Now listen to what he says. That's why he says we have no continuing city. Right. Because New York City or Chicago or London or Paris or wherever, it has an end. Yeah. There's coming a day when those cities won't be anymore. Right. You know, we never think about stuff Yeah, like that's that. right. But it, it's coming. Right. He said, I saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven and the first earth done away with mm -hmm. or passed away. Mm -hmm. And uh, in other words, God's going to purify this earth. Right. Okay, here's what he says. By him, talking about Jesus, remember he said we're to offer up spiritual sacrifices. By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. So, the spiritual sacrifice that God is saying that we're to offer to him continually, by him let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. Let's read the whole verse and we'll go back and look at it because it's really good. That is, he's going to tell you what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. He's going to tell you what he's talking about. That is, the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. Then he goes on and says, but to do good and to communicate means to share or to give, forget not. Now listen, let's well, see, this is gold right here. With such sacrifices, we're talking about spiritual sacrifices mm -hmm. that God says we're to give to God. With such sacrifices, God is well pleased. So he names three things here. He says, by him let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. God says, I want you to praise me continually. Well, now let's, let's talk about a sacrifice for a minute. When they sacrificed, they took the best. I mean, if they didn't, God really tricked them. Yeah. They were to give... The very right. best. So God's saying, we're to offer the sacrifice of praise continually. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. So God is saying, if you offer to me the sacrifice of praise, or you're being thankful, or mm -hmm. you're giving thanks to my name, that's the best you can do. Right. If a sacrifice was to give God your best, which it, that's what he always told them. Don't, don't bring me a, a sheep with blemish. Mm -hmm. Bring me one without spot and without blemish. If they, if they were to give their best sheep and God tells us we're to offer the sacrifice of praise, well, he's requiring the best out of us. So... Well, let me ask this because somebody out there might be watching and say, well, what exactly does that mean? I mean, well, it's saying <clears throat> God wants us to be thankful. But does it mean 
I'm supposed to go through Walmart saying, praise God, praise God, or does it mean, is it more than that, or is it as simple as that? Or? Well, it, to, here's what it means to me, Steve. Here's what it means to me. Anything that you do for God, if it don't come from the heart, it's mm. not of any value. Yeah. Jesus rebuked the Pharisees for praying. Why did he rebuke the Pharisees for praying? Why did he do that? Because it wasn't from the heart. It, it was to real. be seen of men. Yeah. He rebuked them for tithing and mm -hmm. fasting. Mm -hmm. Even though the Bible tells us to give. That you're supposed to do both, but he rebuked them for doing that. Because it wasn't from the heart. It was to be seen of men. Yeah. So, the answer to your question is, if you have a thankful heart, if you wake up in the morning, God, I want to tell you today I love you and I praise you. I, mm -hmm. God, I thank you. I mean, you know, you're driving to mm -hmm. work. I, I just thank you. Lord, I thank you for your blessings on me. Mm -hmm. Well, you're not to be. You're not doing that to be seen right. to me. Right. You're doing it from the heart. It's real. Well, and, you know, when I I was thinking, too, when you were saying that, it's it's like, if somebody talks to me about my job, mm -hmm. and I've had people to do that before, yeah. and they would, they would look at the TV station, and they would look at, you know, me working up at the school, yeah. and they would say, you know, uh, how fortunate I was, yeah. and I always try to make it a point to tell them I didn't do any of this; yeah. God did, yeah. and because I. I don't want to take credit for that. It's not due to me. And I feel like that's that too. That it, you know, that it's personally, I, I talk to God and I thank him for, for those things. And I thank him for all the stuff he does in my life. But when somebody publicly asked me, mm -hmm. I went to a, a meeting one time and it was, um, they asked me to speak. And it was a um, business type yeah. environment. So I did. They wanted me to talk about the TV station and, you know, about yeah. what I was doing with it and everything. So I did. And when I went, um, half of what I talked about at least was God and how, and how, and I didn't just talk about him and just say, you know, well, God does this or God does. I talked about how he blessed me with the things that I'm doing. And when I finished, they, some of the people come up to me and said, we want to thank you for talking to us like that. Yeah. We've never had anybody to really talk to us like that in one of these meetings. Yeah. And, and it was because I can't tell you, if you ask me, how did I start this? Yeah. I can't tell you that while talking about God, right. because if I don't, I'm lying. Right. So anyway, and the reason I said all that is because, to me, part of my praise to God is being able to to show how He blessed me with whatever it is I have, and I think that's true for everybody. Well, you know, it, it's in here the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to His name. What is praise? And he says that is. He tells you what praise is. It's not just necessarily God to praise you, God to praise you, God to praise you. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with that. No, it's okay. You it, want to get, you know, if you know, there's one thing about God. It, you know, He made all of us different. Mm -hmm. He made all of us different. And uh, you know, sometimes I'm at home. I like to just, I just. Tell God how much I love Him. I just say, God, I praise You. God, I love You. You know, and I enjoyed. I mean, that's just me and God. But, mm -hmm. but, uh, you know, you walk down through Walmart. Praise God. Praise God. Praise, you know, they lock you up. You know, yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah. They might think something's wrong. With <laughs> you don't you. want to that's laugh. Right. But he's it's, it's talking about a heart. It's talking about a, your heart. Yeah. Well, and you, you know, one of the things I'm thinking when you say that is you do that at home, and I do that in yeah, private, yeah. you know, that I'll, yeah. 
I'll let God know. You know, when yeah. I wake up morning, I thank yeah. Him for another day before I put a foot on the floor. I thank Him yeah. for giving me another day, and yeah. I ask Him to help me use it yeah. in a way that'd be pleasing to Him. Yeah. But then when I go out into the world, I, I try to show it. I mean, I try to physically show what I tell him in private. And and I don't do it by just going through Walmart saying praise God, but I do it through when somebody upsets me and I should, you know, a human well, response here, is to get mad, I try to think first well, and go. You know, here's the answer to that. I think it would be a good answer to that. I think this would be a really good answer to what I mean, you're talking about. You can read in the Gospels about Jesus. This is conversation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He didn't walk around, praise God, praise God, praise God. Every time somebody says, no. praise God. I no, mean, he didn't. It's not even recorded that he did that. He didn't do that. But he loved God and he loved people. And they knew that he you could loved God. see it in right, his right, in his right, life. Right. I mean that he, yeah. he continually every time he spoke, at some point, God was praised. Yeah, every time yeah, he spoke, he, it, but it was his or he acted whatever it, he did. Yeah, it was his how he carried himself and how he acted. You you knew that he loved God. Yeah, he, he didn't have to tell you. He didn't have to tell you, I love God. One you time saw I it. went into this store and I knew, you know, you can be a nut. Yeah. And, and so, me, and this, <laughs> <laughs> me and this preacher was talking and we was having the best time. I mean, we was just, we was talking about God and we was just having a great time. I mean, a wonderful time. And he's talking about, he pastored a church and we just, I mean, you've been in those where you just get to tell somebody about God and you just, it's just like heaven. We just had yeah. a great time yeah. talking. To and uh, I I said, well, I got to run. His wife said, I want to ask you a question. I said, what? She said, have you ever been saved? <laughs> <laughs> you know, this stupid. Yeah. You know, yeah. this stupid. Right, right. And, uh, you know, that's what I'm saying. You don't have to be a nut. You don't have to be a nut to be a child of God. Right. You can, you know, you have to use common sense. You know, you have to, Jesus did. Mm -hmm. You know, he went to the woman at the well. If he went up to that woman, praise God, hallelujah, praise God, praise the name of Jesus. She'd have run out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> He ministered. He just talked to her he as me and you are talking. That's it. And, and he witnessed to her in that way. That's he it. didn't. He didn't say, you know, I'm gonna take a minute of your time now, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell yeah. you about God. He told her about herself, and when yeah. he did that, well, he showed her that he cared about her. Yeah, so. and he did. Yeah, because that's the other thing is he didn't beat her up. He didn't. No. He didn't say you're a sorry person. You're. He didn't do any of that. That's right. Like he, you said, he showed her he cared about. He showed her, her he cared about her. You know, one of the most important things that you can do, one of the most valuable things that you can give people is time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. You know, you can, you can be a, a man that had a lot of wealth, and you could tell your son, here's your 20, go. go. Then I'm going to talk, Here, here's your 20, go. Yeah. Well, He's going to know that you don't. That you don't really care about him. You, you really don't. Because I mean, you know, if you did, you'd stop and say, what is it? What do you need? One of the most valuable things that you can give a person is time. Mm -hmm. Like, this week I'm really busy and you're really busy. Mm -hmm. But we took time right, to, do, to do this. Right. Well, you know, one of the most valuable things that you can give a person is time because mm -hmm. it can't be replaced it can't be replaced but he says right here the fruit of our lips <clears throat> giving thanks to his name well let, let me just say this that's the sacrifice that's the sacrifice that god is asking us mm -hmm. is to have a thankful heart and be thankful with our mouth. 
Mm -hmm. Do you, you, know, you understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Not complaining, not grumbling. Right. right. Which, you know, what hits all of us. Because mm -hmm, everybody does yeah. that. I do it. Yeah, well, we all do. But he, you know, he says, I want you to give the sacrifice of praise. He said, that is the fruit of the lips with your mouth giving thanks to God. Then the next verse says, listen what it says, but to do good, you know, live right, mm -hmm. do good. Yeah. The Bible said, Jesus went about doing good. I think it's Acts 10 and 38. Jesus went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed by the devil. Mm -hmm. Jesus went about doing good. It went about helping people. It yeah, and way. well, and I mean, Jesus gave us the example of the Good Samaritan. Yeah. And, you know, everybody walking by the guy that had been beat up and robbed, and they were scared to get involved, but this well, see, one man. Think, but you think about this, Steve. If you don't do good, and you're over here, praise God, praise God, yeah, praise the name of Jesus, praise God, praise God. And then you go talk about your brother or sister behind her back, or you, you know, you go uh, carry one of your friends to court, or you threaten somebody with some well, kind of legal action, or well, that's not show, that's that's showing a heart that does not have love in it. I I've told this before, but I don't. I'm not trying to tell me we're getting close to here, but I one time knew this guy. He's he's going on. I knew this guy, and I knew he didn't go to church, and I knew that he lived a, a rough life. And I told him, I said, I want you to go to church with me. I mean, he was getting up there in years, and he was lost. I said, I want you to go to church with me. He said, I'll make you a deal. I said, okay. He said, I'll go to church with you, but you got to go to the church that I want us to go to. And I said, fine. I'll miss my church. I'll go any church you want to go to, you know. So, we went to this church. And this guy, he didn't have on nice clothes. Mm -hmm. He didn't own any nice clothes. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, he didn't have a whole lot. And uh, we went to this church, and everybody was praising God and shouting and praising God and running around praising God. It was just wonderful. Mm -hmm. But God is my witness as I'm sitting here. When church was over, not one of those shouters spoke to me when church was over. Mm -hmm. Not one person not one person in that church spoke to that guy. Yeah. So what did that say about yeah, their they actions? Run, they was running around there shouting all this. And, you know, if you're going to prophesy, you're going to speak in tongues, you're going to shout and praise God for all of that. Praise God for it. And I mean that. But if you ain't got enough of love of God to speak to some sinner standing at the back door, you are being a hypocrite. That's right. And when you speak to him, not go up to him and say, you're going to fry in hell. That's not, <laughs> that ain't speaking to him. It's like, and I've seen that before. You're going to fry in hell. Come back next week, brother. Uh, like, yeah. And it's like, really? You think that guy's going to come back? But, the, I mean, but during that church service, there was everything going on. That you yeah. could, I mean, it was all going on. And Steve, God is my witness. Every single person done that when they walked by. Yeah. He was standing there in old clothes. Well, and a good example, and this is, I'm not getting into political, but this is a good example, is if, if we complain about our country and we yeah. say, you know, well, our country's just awful, it's terrible, our leaders are horrible, and then when it's time to vote, we go, I ain't a vote. I'm not a vote. And well, then how can you complain if you're not willing to put, you know, to throw your hand in to work? Yeah. And yeah. it's the same thing with church. How can you complain about 
the shape your church is in if you're not willing to put your hand to the shovel and help. And it says right here, but to do good. We've got four minutes. To do good and to <clears throat> communicate. And that word communicate means to share or to give. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So part of the spiritual sacrifices that God is telling us in these verses right here is to be thankful, Mm -hmm. to do good, Mm -hmm. and to give. Yeah. And like we we said, it not only is just talking about money, but it's talking about time, it's talking about yeah. Helping people. It, but this particular verse here is saying, saying that some people get uncomfortable with what I'm fixing to say, but this is this verse is really talking about giving here. Yeah. And God says to give with which sacrifices God is well pleased. Yeah. God says, I'm well pleased with those that praise me. I'm well pleased with those that do good, and I'm well pleased with those that give. Mm-hmm. You know, my daddy told me one time, and I never forget this. I, I always remember what he said. He said, when God gets a person, my daddy told me this, when a person, I mean, they're in love with Jesus, and mm-hmm. they sell out to God, my dad told me, he said, God gets their pocketbook. Yeah. You know, I want to say something. We ain't got but about three minutes left, but I do want to say something since you brought that up because me and someone at church was talking about this a couple of weeks ago. And, you know, and being a deacon in the church, I look at, you know, where our church is financially yeah. and, you know, what the future financially is for a church. So I think in them terms when I'm, you know, talking to other deacons at church. And I told them, I told this one uh, person that's a deacon there, I said, you know, and I started to say this, and I know people have a fit, but I, I told this one lady that is a deacon there, uh, we can get into that in another study, but I, I told her, I said, I have never given to the church and then thought later, I wish I had that money back. No. I've never done that no. because I never needed it because God always blessed me to the point that I didn't even, I didn't look back and go, boy, I wish I had that money I gave to the church the other day. Mm-hmm. God blessed me enough that that wasn't even a, it's never been an issue. I, I just give what he instructs me to give. You know, I mean, I know People take this wrong, but I don't mean this. I don't mean this wrong. But I'm telling the truth. My wife would tell you I'm telling the truth if she could be here. I look forward to giving. Mm-hmm. I want to give. It makes me feel good to give I to the church. Give. I want to give. I feel like I did something positive with my money. You know, our well, church, not my money our to church start is with. fixing to get new carpet put in it. Mm-hmm. I've tickled death. Yeah, absolutely. Tickled death. Mm-hmm. Because God is blessing our church. Right, right. God's blessing our church. And, you know, I just like, not only just to, about our church, but I also enjoy helping people. I, I like, you know, to mm-hmm. try to help people. I mean. Well, you can't do that if people don't give to the church. I see. They have to give to the church for you to be able to do that. Right. Well, Brother Thurston, we're out of time. I appreciate it. I appreciate you doing this. And uh, appreciate you folks watching. And uh, pray that y'all have a blessed week.